What's something you once strongly believed, and now don't believe at all? As a young child I used to believe I was the subject of an experiment that everyone was in on but me. Like the Truman Show. I used to try and turn my head quickly and catch people out or try and spot a camera. Later as an adult I watched the Truman Show for the first time and the memory came flooding back. That adults have everything figured out in their life as a smooth journey on a fixed path. That I'd be married by now. Turns out you need someone who also believes that for you. I used to think everyone is genuinely nice with no hidden agendas and that made me trust everyone easily. That food pyramid we were taught in school for what our diet should consist of. That everyone could get along. Becoming an adult has soured my opinion of people in general. I'm no different. That I am special and destined for great things. That karma would punish the bad people, eventually. What goes around comes around. As a child, I believed that whenever we slept all our hair would fall off and we would randomly get a stranger's hair the next day. And I believed that that's why some days were a good hair day and some days bad. I strongly believed this for a long time xd. That I'll figure out life when I grow up. That you can trust all people. WWE. That I can't do better than my meth addicted, abusive, cheating ex that the people who we elect as our leaders care about our country that poop can't just leak out found out today it can there's no soulmate we can nurture love in different person with reasonable compatibility if we both are mature enough that i would grow up to be a ninja turtle that everything is gonna be all right that adults know what they're doing that everything happens for a reason not everything happens necessarily for a reason some things are totally random and it's best to make peace with this fact the justice system and government in general grew up with the idea that if people work hard then you'll find success. People who are poor or underprivileged were simply lazy. How ignorant of me. That in the end, things will be okay. That if people know the results of their actions they'd act with some kind of conscious. Turns out they have the ability to dilute themselves into believing their own superiority much more easily than just listening to reason. There's no such thing as a stupid question as someone who works in customer service. That is in fact not true. My parents convinced me that Halloween was a holiday that was only meant to worship Satan. Do not think that at all now it is just a bunch of kids trying to get candy. And some teens trying to ing to scare the most kids. That there was a T-Rex behind the basement couch that would pop up if ever I dared to be down there alone. Damn you, Jurassic Park. Working hard can get you anything you want. Hard work is important and can get you really far but certain achievements take a lot of luck as well. Joseph Smith was a prophet and a good man. Having a house of my own, freaking economy. There was a dude in the sky who cared if I masturbated. That the justice system will ultimately punish the guilty while absolving the innocent. That life would be good. God I was super religious in a non-religious family. I was thinking of converting from Anglican to becoming Catholic. I started a nursing degree in October 1972. Within a month I became an atheist and have been since. What I saw as a nursing student made me think that if a god did exist they were indeed very cruel. Karma. I was bullied and thought it was good for you long term but a solid YouTube video many years back pointed out how it's inappropriate as adults so why would we think it's okay for children? God. I was strongly anti-abortion my entire life. Until they banned abortion. I realized how freaking scary it was that the government could just do that to women's rights. How slippery of a slope that was. Then I realized I was anti-abortion for myself, and that everyone had the right to make that choice for themselves. That the government shouldn't be interfering with our bodies and our health care. I was also a Christian who is now agnostic so they may have something to do with the way I thought before too. That people were inherently good. Biblical inerrancy. It took me a long time to come to grips with the errancy of biblical inerrancy. God. That working hard will lead to a more successful life. Meritocracy. My countrymen. My parents. Santa. I my dad always being there for me. Fuck THIs. That the Hulk would jump over the trees at the end of the garden and land on me I was a weird child. Politics revolution higher deity being an adult is cool that I was going to be a millionaire at early 20s by working hard I can win versus most people my size in a fight I can easily fend off an armed rubber gun or knife Santa Claus. Tooth fairy. At WWE. That 9-11 was an inside job. That suicide is selfish. I know now when suicide is the only option someone can see, they've reached a point of desperation. Their fear of living one more day is greater than their fear of the unknown. That we have a functioning democracy in the United States. The same hoverboards in Back to the Future would be released in the year 2000. As a child I had to keep toxic people in my life because it's my dad, grandma, brother blah blah blah. I thought that was the case but at 15 I stood up for myself and said fuck that. I'm glad I let go because I've been in such a better mental space. Religion. I used to think that Democrats were the good guys cause the media treated them as the white saviors of minorities and LGBTQIA. 
Now I know that pretty much every politician except for maybe some of the younger ones doesn't give a rat's ass about any of us, and our only way of dealing with it is an annual popularity contest which tries its best to drive a wedge between people by making every little thing in us versus them agenda, rather than here is how we can fix the problems in our communities. God, hard work pays off. That I'm gonna be happy one day. That people were good. Marriage is a lifetime commitment as long as there is no abuse of any kind. Politicians and government was there to help the general public, not line their own pockets with our hard-earned money like the thieves they are now. Love will come out of nowhere. And that people care about you. Yeah, they care about you if it benefits themselves in terms of joy. Christianity. I was raised a hardcore Baptist, dad was a preacher, went to a Christian college and a Christian seminary. I got a degree in religion. Today I am a practicing pagan. I was naive enough to believe that people didn't know. Now. After half a lifetime, I understand that they just don't care. People are not basically good. That requires effort, energy expenditure, and in an entropic universe, that is a fleeting, temporary, and rare condition. That senior staff people are competent and not winging it like the rest of us. Christianity. Ninth grade biology seriously put my beliefs into question, and anything that can be easily challenged by ninth grade biology probably isn't real. That Elon Musk is great. Life after death. That my dad was a bad person. Turns out my mom is a narcissist and made me hate my dad since age six. She's been feeding me all those lies until I finally saw her true colors when I became an adult. That Ayn Rand's philosophy had value and meaning. Loyalty and unconditional love. Government is supposed to make life better for us. That humans are progressing. That hard work will lead to success. No, smart work and probably a lot of luck leads to success. I worked really hard when I was in the food industry. Lack of sleep and 80-hour weeks were somehow a badge of honor. But it still didn't pay the bills, and most certainly isn't recession-proof. So, after 12 years of food industry, I joined the military, simply so I could have a livable wage. While it wasn't fun, it also wasn't hard. And towards the end of my enlistment, I lined myself up pretty to transition into a skill bridge program called MSSA, which jump-started my career in IT. Six years later, I have a BS in cybersecurity and a job as a senior cybersecurity engineer. While I still work hard and put my best foot forward, I now work a normal 40 hours have great work-life balance, and sleep pretty well too. I like to try to convince myself that it was all hard work that got me where I'm at, but really it was a couple of smarter decisions and a finally being dealt a good hand. That as long as you work hard and live as a good person by the book, you'd be happy and successful in life. By that, I mean focusing on studies and having good grades, being holy, and listening to parents 24-7. False. You need connections everywhere. If you ain't street smart, you aren't getting anywhere with your good grades. Sometimes, lying can help you in life. Sometimes, disobeying your parents can help you learn and move forward they aren't always right. Finally, when too much, religion can make you a bad person. Not the bad bad, but still bad. That bullies only occur in childhood. Why are there workplace bullies? We are all adults now. That Disney valued magic they only value money. God Jesus. The entire religion. Love. Just the concept of love in this day and age. It is rare to have someone who will stick and be patient with you till your last breath. I bought into neoliberal capitalism and a positive role for private sector technology for longer than I care to admit. It wasn't until 2016 or so by this point, I was in my 30s that I started to realize that a technological capitalism wasn't an upgrade but a more totalitarian form of the same system, and b these companies are not innovators in any useful way because they aren't technology companies so much as they are technology control companies. The products are of low quality and it's only getting worse. In 2011, Mark Anderson said software is eating the world. At the time, that sounded empowering to me as someone who can program and is good at it. In truth capitalism is eating the world, and software is just what it shits out. I hope you all are doing well, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed this video. If you have something to say critically or otherwise, leave a comment. And if you enjoy this content, don't forget to subscribe to see more of it. I hope you all have wonderful and fulfilled lives.